Now at 10.30, unprovoked attacks, sucker punch for no reason. We hear about these violent incidents all too often, but you can fight back and prevent becoming a victim. As these brutal crimes are on the rise, more and more people are taking their personal security into their own hands. As Jennifer McGraw shows us, it all starts with being vigilant. She kicked my dog in the face and then started hitting me with open fists. Melissa still can't believe that day last October when she was the victim of a random and vicious attack by a woman living in her own neighborhood. Completely caught me off guard. Something we've seen time and again nearly every day from a woman shoved into a door then struggling with a thief to hang onto her purse to a woman walking casually down the street in Long Beach in broad daylight, a man with his pants down attacks her from behind to the recent and savage attacks by the Venice Canal. I have to be concerned about my own safety and my dog's safety. So if I even come at you, Dave Kerr teaches self-defense classes at his gym, Fit Sport Kinetics in Pasadena. If you're walking in front of your house or if you're in some dark alley, you always assume that there's danger around. Flip it here, just like that. A real simple slap to the side of the head will discombobulate. We use a natural weapon like a hammer hand, like you would knock on a heavy door, a knee, or a kick to the uh, kick to the knee. Okay, ready? Good. For years, experts have been trying to express the importance of being vigilant. You don't want to be buried in your phone. If you have earbuds in, you can't hear anything. So one of the things we teach here is the simple practice of being aware of your surroundings. But it's not just up to your spidey senses. With the streaks of purple in her hair, Jen Lester is better known as Stun Gun Jen. She's been teaching people how to advocate for themselves and how to ward off potential attackers. I was a 911 dispatcher for a little over 12 years, and at the end of that career, I found out someone very close to me had actually been a rape survivor twice in the four years prior, but had kept it a secret. So I went to a self-defense class myself, realized the need. I'm a new mom, obviously I have my hands full. What should I do? We're walking into the grocery store. It's still easy for you to stay equipped. You can have something on a belt buckle away from your child with that quick release for a purse. You can also have it in your pocket. What I love is that Damsel also has these wristlets that can literally carry it all. Jen says you are your own best defense in these crazy times. It's incredibly alarming. We're seeing it on the headlines constantly. She says the key is to try never come in contact with a predator, but just in case, four things to carry. I have my alarm with the GPS tracking. I have a stun device, I have a striking tool for close contact strikes, and I have my pepper spray. But also says one of the best tools is your voice. So if he's coming at me and I do a back off, there's a bigger chance he's going to back off. Using these techniques may in fact help you too not become a statistic. If we are the consequence, because we can't get the consequences through our justice system or whatever, but we have to start to learn to be the consequence ourselves. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. Some good tips there. Now, if you're considering self-defense training or non-lethal weapons for protection, you can go to our website and it will have links and contact information posted in this story.